Hi guys, how you guys doing? I'm back again. This is going to be the last part for the uh, how to create a navbar um, with the bootstrap. We're going to make the navbar now. We're going to actually make it responsive so it's actually mobile responsive. So let me go ahead and open the project. I already actually have a running. It's running on local host 4200. So let me go back. So I'll show you guys where we left. Okay, so this is navigation, so let's make it smaller. Actually, hold on. I like doing it this way. Let's go to console. All right, so right now it's not responding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an app. Uh, you're gonna create a function where you're gonna click on the button here and it's gonna slide down. So let's do that right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to nav bar here let's look for the button right here so we're going to call it toggle nav bar so let's create a click click function maybe toggle nav bar here right now it's highlighted red because it does we haven't made it yet so we have to go to the Navbar component TS. We're going to create a first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable and we're going to make it navbar. We're going to call it navbar open. We're going to equal that to false. So that way it will be closed at the beginning. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and create the the function. So we're gonna call it toggle. I think we call it toggle not bar. Uh, yeah, like that. So we're gonna make this this not bar open equal to. I'm sorry, not equal to this not bar open. And that's it. Oh, and let's disable this. So actually, no, I'm not going to disable it. We're just going to put boy. You can disable if you like that. I'm not going to do it. All right. The next thing that we got to do, so that way the navigation bar can work, you got to create a class. So we're going to go just where it says collax, not war collax. Over here, what we're going to do is we're going to do an ng class. Just like that, in G class. Call it show. We're going to equal that. I'm sorry, not equal. It's going to be. So let's, let's see if it works now. So let's go back. Very refresh. So, yep, yeah, see now it's working. So this is this is the right way to do it without using jQuery. So let's go over this. So first thing we did, we create a function. We call it nav tag on navbar using the click function. Next thing we did, we actually went into the navigation on uh, nav component TS. We created a variable and we got, we made that equal to false. And then we, and over here is the function that I declared. Sorry, hold on. Sorry about that. That was just my daughter. All right. So where we are. So we created a function. It's called tag on that bar. Uh, you can either disable or you can just type in boy on the front. And then we make this. Uh, we we actually call the variable here. So we did this not about open e equal to not, not equal to this not about open. So it's kind of like true or false. So it's, it's going to toggle so and if you actually go back over here see it's working so this is it for this part guys so um don't forget to comment or subscribe to my channel um i'm sorry and uh, make sure leave a good feedback uh and we'll see you in the next video thank you guys